everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be unboxing June's boxy charm every single month I always get it wrong I almost said February obviously it is not February it's like 110 degrees outside but we're gonna be unboxing this month's boxy charm and before we get into the box be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys would like to see what is in this month's box then just keep on watching okay, so if you're wondering why I look kind of crazy right now is because I'm gonna be trying on all of the products on camera so I can give you guys my full and open honest opinion and review so this month's theme is called Let's see, I have this upside down. Downtown Charm. This looks so weird. I feel like I couldn't even read that. It says Downtown Charm. And as always, we are getting five full-size products. So the first product is this Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette. And this retails for $28. It says that this palette has richly pigmented hues and sexy combinations designed for all eye colors and skin tones. Delight in a long-wearing, crease-resistant, fade-resistant, buildable colors in textures ranging from ver from velvety smooth mattes to metallic sheens and I'm just gonna open this up we have received some lip products from this brand before so this is gonna be really interesting to see how these shadows work so this is a palette that I got this says it's palette number two so I think from what I saw on boxycharm there were three options and so I got number two and it just looks like this these colors are really beautiful, everyday, kind of neutral colors, and I think these are more like fall tones, but I will definitely still wear them in the summer. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this little plastic film off of the mirror and try this out for you guys. So first let me swatch a few of the colors for you. Actually, I will swatch all of the colors for you and show you what they look like. These are the swatches of the colors. As you can see, there are a few matte shades. You have your satin shimmer shades and you have your more sparkly shades. Let's go ahead and see how they look on the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. Okay, so I prime my lids off camera using my Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is this shade right here and it is called Driven. And I'm just gonna use that to set the primer on my lid. It seems really nice in pigment, but we'll see how the actual colors blend out in just a second. For my transition, I'm going to take this shade right here, and this color is called Invincible. So I'm just going to sweep this into the crease and blend. And then next I'm going to take this deep burgundy brown shade called Indomitable, and I'm just going to sweep that into the crease. There is some fallout, but it's not too bad. Honestly, I can care less about fallout just as long as the pigment and the blendability is there, which so far it seems like it is. As you can see, like it's it's really going on super rich when it comes to the pigment. So I'm just going to blend this into the crease. And then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush that I used before and just kind of blend everything together so it's nice and diffused. And my bangs are like totally getting in the way right now. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here called Limitless and I'm just going to take this on my finger and pack this all over the center of my lid. The pigment for this one is just okay though, to be honest. I feel like it's a little chunky, but... It's not the worst. It's just a little bit chunky and kind of glittery. And then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Unshakable, and I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my lid. And then next I'm going to take a small pencil brush and take that Unshakable color and place it on my lower lash line and just kind of smoke everything out. And then I'm going to go back in with Limitless and a different pencil brush and kind of bring this on the inner portion of my lower lash line and inner corner. Lastly, I'm going to take that burgundy shade again called Indomitable and just take a fluffy brush and just sweep this on my lower lash line to blend everything together. 
And then I'm going to finish my eyeliner and mascara off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so the final thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. I think the blendability was really good and the pigment was there. Some of the shimmery shades were lacking in pigment, but they were still really pretty. Um, I'm probably going to pass this palette along to one of my friends because I have so many palettes with these colors in it already. And I'm trying so hard not to be a palette hoarder. And I ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette and it should be here any day, so I'm just like trying to declutter a little bit so I think I will pass this on but I do think this palette was really nice. Okay so the next product is this Ofra lipstick and this is the Ofra long lasting lipstick in the shade Tuscany. This retails at $19.90 and it says that the Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick is a one step full lip color that does not feather. This vibrant color will give you a vivacious look and it is creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long lasting lipstick effect. No, no need to use a lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look. And this color is gorgeous. Honestly, this is more of a fall kind of color for me, but I will probably still wear it because I love Ofra's liquid lipsticks. The formula is beautiful and it is not so drying to the point where your lips are cracking and looking all gross. So this is what the color looks like swatched. It's just like a really beautiful Kind of like a deep berry mauve kind of color and honestly this will probably look really good with the eye look i did today so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this and see how this looks okay so my thoughts on this this color is gorgeous it was really easy to apply it feels super super comfortable like i said this is probably more of a fall kind of color for me but i will definitely be wearing this often and it smells like vanilla cupcakes which makes it so much better <laughs> so the next product is this artist couture diamond powder Let's see, the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture, and it retails at $26.99. It says that the shimmering powder packs a high glow with a gorgeous sheen, suitable for only true glow getters. This all-natural loose powder is finely milled for flawless application with versatility in use. It is suitable for light to dark skin tones. This product can be used on your face to highlight or on your eyes, lips, and body. And I'm not going to lie, I already opened this because I really wanted to see what it looked like. I have heard so many good things about these highlighters. Um, I know like Nikki Tutorials uses this. I see it all over Instagram. And this highlighting powder looks gorgeous. The only thing is it's very glittery and I prefer highlights that are more um, shimmery versus glittery. You know what I'm saying? Like more of like a sheen. But I will try this on for the sake of the video. And this is in the shade Illuminati. It is like this really beautiful golden champagne kind of shade and I will go ahead and swatch this for you guys so you can see how gorgeous this really is. You don't even need that much and it just really really packs a punch. It is so pretty. I didn't mean to rhyme just now. That probably sounded really weird <laughs> but this is really gorgeous and oh my gosh it's probably not even picking up on camera as well as it is in real life but this is really really beautiful. So I'm just going to take my favorite elf highlighting brush and I'm gonna try this out for you guys. Okay, so I just packed on a little bit to the brush and I'm tapping off some of the excess because it's really powdery. I'm kind of nervous because this is really like glittery. Oh, are you guys seeing that? Oh my gosh, there's powder everywhere. This is really pretty. I like how this looks, but I feel like it's emphasizing a lot of my texture. You guys, this is so intense. Oh my gosh. I really, really love an intense highlight, but this might be like a little too intense for me. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are seeing on camera, but it is emphasizing a lot of the texture I have on my face, but that's okay. <laughs> Let me put some down the bridge of my nose. You can see a lot of glitter in it. I'm probably going to do some right here on my collarbones. I always think that looks really pretty. <laughs> Move all his hair out of the way. <laughs> and I'm going on a date with my boyfriend after this, so I'm gonna be really, really glowy. <laughs> and I'm gonna add some, ooh, that is so pretty. I don't even know if that's picking up on camera, but that looks really gorgeous on the shoulders. 
That is really pretty. It is so glowy though and shimmery. I don't know if this is something I could wear on a regular basis because it is so intense. But oh my gosh, are you guys seeing that? Holy crap. That is crazy. <laughs> The next product we have is this brush by Luxie, and this is the Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush. This retails for $24, and it says, sweep the competition away with this tapered brush. Perfect for dusting away powders, applying highlighters, or applying highlighters, this brush screams versatility. So it looks like this, and it has this little, like, mesh sleeve over it. And Luxie brushes are the best. They are some of my favorite brushes, and this is so, so soft. It feels like feels like a feather. It's really nice. <laughs> I probably would use this for sleeping white powder more than anything and I might even be able to use this for contour or blush. I already have bronzer on but I'm just going to go ahead and test this out with some blush since I haven't put blush on yet. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. This is one of my favorite drugstore blushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit to the brush and see how this looks. I really like how this applies my blush. I feel like it makes it look really even and kind of just like diffused because normally I use like a fluffy packing brush like this for my blush, but I don't know. This might be my new favorite way to apply blush. <laughs> the last items that we got is this three sheet mask collection and this is by Biobel Cosmetics. This retails at $14.97 and it says that Biobel's sheet masks give your skin an instant boost while deeply hydrating and evening your skin tone, revealing gorgeous glowy skin. Biobel's award-winning tensile fiber adheres perfectly and, de and delivers antioxidants to your skin faster and deeper. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It comes with three, which I think is so awesome. And it looks like each mask is different. This one hydrates and nourishes, and it says it has almond oil and vitamin E. This one says it diminishes the appearance of fine lines, and it looks like this. And this last one is a primer sheet mask. That is really cool. It says prep the skin for a flawless makeup application with tea tree oil, rosehip extract, and vitamin C. And it looks like this. So I think that's really cool that they included three sheet masks. And I feel like that is like a really, really good deal along with all the other products. So my overall thoughts with this month's box, I think it was really awesome. The eyeshadow palette was really nice. Honestly, like I said, I have so many colors like this already. I am going to pass this along to a friend who I know will love it. And the highlighter, you guys. This is like crazy to me. <laughs> it is so intense, but I do really like it. I think it's so pretty and it just looks really natural when you have it on your body and I really, really like how it looks. And then the lipstick is super comfortable, such a pretty shade and I love this brush so much. I love how it applied my blush. I feel like this looks so much better with a brush like this versus a regular fluffy brush. So this is going to be like my new a new thing <laughs> and I think it is so awesome that they also included three sheet masks. So that is it for this month's box. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and you can also follow me on Instagram. I will leave my name right here on the screen. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you next time.